imagine, if you will, three o'clock in the morning, you're comfortably in bed sleeping. You hear glass break. You hear voices that you don't recognize. So you do the responsible thing that any good American would do. You get your gear set up and you go investigate. You find three men in your house that you don't recognize. So again, you do what any good law-abiding citizen would do of America. You tell them to stop. Whenever they don't, you get in a firefight. In the ensuing firefight, one of your rounds misses your target, goes through a window, and keeps on going. So, on one of my previous videos, where I basically say I don't think you should use this Hornady 53 grain VMAX for self-defense, this guy commented and said, uh, he used, he said something along the lines of, he uses it because he thinks it'll break up when it goes through, if it goes through a window, better than M855 would. Really strange circumstances there, but I'll overlook all that and we're just gonna focus on the, the, the key point of that comment. Would this 53 grain VMAX from Hornady, would it break up if it went through a window? If you missed your target, went through a window, would it break up like a VMAX is meant to do? Or is a window not uh, dense enough, hard enough, whatever? Does it not provide enough resistance to break up that VMAX bullet? And will it just keep zipping on through like a normal bullet would? And the question was, sorry, the comment was interesting enough. And I had a, some old windows out back. I said, fuck it, let's try it. So, basic uh, testing setup. I'm going to be seven yards away, shooting one of these 53 grain VMAX. Keep that safe. Now, I have my gel blocks here for stands for my window. Don't laugh. My window is My window is, I might hit the mic there, sorry if I did. My window is, as you can see, old, very dirty. It's probably not like up to code or the most common type of windows you see people using in modern day homes. So what I had lying around, so that's what we're using. Behind it, I have a, just a USPSA Ipsic style target. I figure that'll be the best uh, way for me to see if Whenever this bullet goes through this glass, did it break up and is there a whole bunch of little pieces or is there just one 22 caliber hole in it? So, we're gonna step off to seven yards and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna say the glass does not provide enough resistance. It's going to keep on going straight through it and I'm just gonna have one single little hole in the uh, target. The glass will not cause the VMAX to break up. That's what I think. Let's see. It didn't break the glass, so I don't have to clean all that up. Let's see what the target looks like though. Let's see. So as we can see, there's one bullet hole. There is some small little fragments. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if there's any way to actually figure this out. I would be willing to almost bet these are just bits of glass from that window. Considering if the VMAX was breaking up from that window, I don't think we'd have such a really nice, clean, circular hole. So, final conclusions. Um, it's really hard for me to come to like a definite conclusion. Frankly, because all of these small little fragment holes 
I don't know if they're glass or pieces of the VMAX. I am simply going to go with, I think they're bits of glass. That's what I think, because again, like I said just a minute ago, if they were fragments of the VMAX from it breaking up, I, I don't think we'd have such a clean, perfect little hole in the target. It would be kind of more jagged or spread out a little bit more. That's just what I think. So basically, I'm probably going to lean towards it punched straight through that glass. There was not enough resistance, and it looks like it probably stayed mostly intact, and it just kept on going. So, uh, so in response to that comment that I got, I don't know if I would really expect the VMAX when it goes through a, a window to break up. Now, just to be clear, if by some chance the dude that commented actually is watching this, I'm not throwing shade. I'm not laughing at you. I'm not joking at you. I'm not nothing like that. I just liked the comment. I thought it was interesting and a, a fun concept, so I decided to test it out. And in this testing setup, which I admit is pretty flawed, real old window, there's only one. Uh, some windows, you know, like have inner and outer glass, uh, screens, stuff like that. So this isn't the end all be all, guys. But in this one specific test, the VMAX was going fast enough, punched straight through that glass, and it looks like it stayed mostly intact. So, again, in response to that comment, if any of you, anyone else is thinking along those same lines, I don't know if I would expect the VMAX to break up. The Hornady Super Performance 53 grain VMAX versus the window. I think the, I think the VMAX won. Looks like it punched straight through the window and I don't think it broke up at all. If you liked the video, you found it uh, fun, entertaining, informative, give me a thumbs up. If you want to call me a moron or call me stupid and get mad at me because I'm saying I don't think you should use VMAX for self-defense, comment down below. I like reading them. Makes me feel good. Uh, yeah, that was the test. I'm the Kalkara 131, signing off.